It's Tech Tuesday, back on schedule, and hopefully still popular. I'm Liam Spore. Number 5. Assassin's Creed 2 took gamers on quite a ride, improving nearly everything from the original game while continuing the mysterious story. Those who played through the remember that the sections of the storyline were left out intentionally, which, surprise surprise, are now going to be filled in by DLC. The first was just made available last week and is titled The Battle for Flory. It's only a 320 point DLC, which is really cheap, but there are some clear reasons why this low price after you play it. The entire pack really only gives you about an hour of playtime plus some side missions. It covers one assassination mission and a few lead-in missions, and that's it. It also loses some of its excitement since the action fits between the major sequences and the final mission, meaning players already know what's going to happen. I did notice some much needed work on cutscenes since the original from the game were very disappointing at times. Overall, not enough to satisfy my need for more assassinations, but for the price, a good play. Brutal Renaissance killing, just in time for Valentine's Day. Number four. Well, since you need Microsoft points to get that DLC, there might as well go into a story on Microsoft points. Microsoft is claiming they want to possibly do away with the points altogether and go to normal monies. It's weird that they would plan this since money makes sense and we all know how little sense Microsoft makes at times. See, points are part of this master plan to confuse and rip you off. Most games are priced by numbers divisible by 4, like 400, 800, or 1200, and you can only get points in blocks of 500,000 or 5,000. This means when you want to buy a game, you get more points than you really need and end up with a random leftover that aren't really enough to buy anything, so next time you get even more points and the cycle continues. So Microsoft really puts simple math against you, but that's not all. The point system is intentionally not set at money rates to make you forget that 5,000 points really means $62. So when you buy that dumb hat for your dumb avatar, you forget it represents upwards of $10, but instead, oh, it's only 300 points. However, no amount of points can undumb your avatar. Number three, YouTube is offering movie rentals. Go rent anything you want right now. Oh, what's that? Uh, they only have five movies that you've never heard of? Oh, what a letdown. YouTube is attempting to get into the Netflix business by setting up a streaming service that lets you instantly watch movies on your computer. For $5, you get 48 hour window to watch your movie, much like Netflix. It's a good idea since everyone already uses YouTube for basically any video watching. However, the lack of content may kill this before it begins. Netflix is in business with nearly every major movie publisher and also already has a near monopoly in the DVD rental biz. Add in rumors that iTunes will soon offer instant streaming and most won't be using YouTube for anything more than lolcats. Then again, maybe the heads at YouTube know this and are just setting up a mass Rickroll plot. Number two. This guy is the new face of Red Bull. No, they aren't going to stick their name on the side of the space shuttle, although well, NASA could use some extra cash. Anyway, this is Felix Baumgartner. He plans to ride up nearly 20 miles above the Earth in a Red Bull balloon and jump. Why? Well, he can, and because he's crazy. This jump will start in the upper atmosphere, near space, and during his descent, Felix will break the sound barrier. Now, I know you physics guys up on the third floor are thinking, remember Liam, you learned that the human body's terminal velocity is roughly 120 miles per hour, and Mach 1 is nearly 761.2 miles per hour. How can that be? Well, since the jump starts in near space, the effect of friction is far less than when you jump from a few thousand feet. That means, ironically enough, he will actually slow down as he falls. But let's get to the real point of this stunt. If you drink Red Bull, you can exceed Mach 1 speeds. Screw wings, I've got a balloon and 20 miles of freefall space. And number one. Okay, so the iPad is at number one, as most of you expected, but it's up here so I can complain, not praise. Yes, the iPad is revolutionary at some stuff. The touchscreen is naturally amazing and the thing looks great. Yes, it will most likely kill the Kindle and become the new standard for digital books, especially in classrooms. That's great, but this tablet was rumored to be the next cell phone, that is, something everyone must have. That's not really the case. There is a laundry list of stuff that we wish was there, another list of things that should be there and are not, and a very long, long, long list of comments and puns that could have been avoided by naming it anything but the iPad. There is, as of now, no multitasking, which really needs to get fixed. The thing runs a modified iPhone OS, not full leopard like I wanted, but that can be ignored if Apple had not used the OS to put so many restrictions on the device. Being an iPhone OS type thing means you have to download apps via the App Store, which is directly controlled by Apple. That heavily limits programs and future development. Also, still no flash, meaning limited web video. Not to mention the fact that there is only one port on it. An iPod type connector is all there is to plug in. No MagSafe charger, no USB, not even an SD card slot. But not to worry, Apple is happy to sell you iPad plug to whatever adapter. How nice of them. The lack of support for styluses is a minor detail, but would have really made this thing a must buy for graphic artists. I feel the story getting more and more frustrated, so I'll end it there. The worst part is, 
I still want one. Liza said you got me where you want me again and I can't turn away, I'm hanging by That's all for this week. Check out Tech Tuesday on YouTube at youtube.com slash tech Tuesday. And if you haven't already, become a fan on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash pages slash tech Tuesday slash one three five oh well just it's a bit complicated, never mind. Just just search Tech Tuesday. I'll see you next week.